In this lecture, I will discuss several filters. I will start with three filters that make images look warmer. In the last lecture, we have already seen the Brilliance Warmth filter in action. A filter that is related to this is the Sunlight filter. I have opened Sun Forest. I would like to add some sunlight to this image. At the bottom, I select Sunlight. You can adjust the light strength, the light temperature, the brightness, contrast and saturation. Now we have a bit sun in the image. The next warming filter is the skylight filter. I have opened Woman Beach. The skylight filter removes blue casts and warms the image up. With the foliage filter you can bring the greens in nature images to life. There are three presets. I will choose method 2. Under it I can set the strength of the filter. Now we will look at two color correction filters. I have opened Bride. To color correct this image and remove the blue color cast from the wedding dress, I will select the white neutralizer filter. At the right there is a color picker. If I click on the dress, it will remove the blue. At the left of the color picker, I see the color I have chosen to become neutral. Another interesting color correction is Remove Color Cast. I have opened Town. By dragging the U slider, you can quickly find the optimal point for neutralizing the color cast. In the previous lecture, we have seen Structure in Action in Viveza. Color Effects goes further and offers six contrast filters, which are all based on the structure algorithm. Let's have a look. For getting a more dramatic look in your image, you can use dark contrasts. I have opened Mountains Snow. I will drag the contrast up and also the brightness. I will now increase the dark detail extractor. With Shadows Highlight Protection, you can bring the effect down a bit in the shadows and highlights. The next filter is Contrast Only. I have opened Rows. With Contrast Only, you have control over how contrast is applied. You have Normal Contrast, followed by Contrast Only, which prevents colors from being affected, and Soft Contrast, which gives softer transitions. If I now select the Dark Contrast filter, we see we get a different result. Another contrast filter is Contrast Color Range. I have opened Bright and Groom. The color selected with color will cause objects of that color to become lighter, while opposite or complementary colors will become darker. This is a quick and effective way to get better contrast between the bright and groom and the background. I have opened flowers. With dark contrasts we made lighter areas darker to give them more drama. With pro contrast we do the opposite and lighten up areas in a dark image. The flowers are now much more visible. I have opened ocean rocks. With detail extractor you can bring out detail in an image in three ways. Under Effect Radius you can adjust Fine Detail, Medium Detail or Larger Detail separately. And finally with Tonal Contrast you can bring out detail in the highlights, midtones or shadows. There are also five contrast types. Standard, High Pass, Fine, Balanced and Strong. In this lecture we have used the filters globally. For more refined results you can use the control points. In the next lecture we will look at creative filters.